Word Alive World Ministries sits off Route 4 on the outskirts of Middletown. Um, that concerns us, being uh, a little bit out of the city. Um, not that many other churches around, not that many other businesses around, so we're a little isolated. One reason Katrina and Mark Wilson want to step up their game when it comes to the safety of fellow church members. When people come in, we need to be a lot more observant. In response to the church shooting in Texas, the Middletown Police Department opened its doors to local church leaders. The Wilsons were among dozens eager to learn more about protecting their members. You have to get your people in the mindset to think that this could happen. Police say churches should develop an action plan. What I would recommend for any safety approach is to limit entrance to the church, not exit, but entrance. Make sure everyone knows where all of the exits are, create a safety team, people who are looking out for anything suspicious, and have a crisis bag ready to go. Inside that crisis bag is your tornado drills, your fire plans, uh, it shows all your exit locations. It's also got a first aid kit in it. Police say churches, like many schools, should number or letter each of their doors. So I'm telling my dispatch, hey, I'm going to door A. Door A is where the threat's at. It's also important to give the dispatch um, a schematic of the church, you know, so that they know um, what they're looking at or, you know, where the doors are and what to kind of expect when they get there. Advice the Wilsons plan on taking back to their place of worship to better protect their church family. And Katrina says she would also like to have a sign on the door alerting people they've been through this type of training, kind of like a security sticker as it could act as a deterrent. Reporting live in Middletown tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.